doubt versus absolute proof, is it important that uh, the audience remains fearful and uncertain throughout the whole film of what the truth is? Um, well, I actually think that people make their decisions fairly rapidly. They decide quite early in a film who they like and who they don't like. So I think their decisions are made within the first ten minutes. And then if we do our job right, they're undermined as we go along uh, over time. Do you think that Sister Aloysius' certainty was right for herself in her own faith? I think that she is the only way she could be, uh, uh, owing to her circumstances, the kind of woman she is, the, the, her personality. <laughs> I mean, who knows why we are the way we are, but I think that she's sort of born to that need. I think there are secrets about her that we don't know, and that's sort of the most intriguing part of her we make a decision about this very hard seeming woman <clears throat> and her authoritarian defense of the traditional but i think that in there and embedded in it is is something personal frail um from far back in her life as there is in everybody she has the backstory of the the widow of a um a, a soldier killed in the war but there is a scene the final confrontation with uh, Father Flynn where you take your shawl and you rock it as if it's a baby mm. is that you giving her part, uh, part of the backstory you think you should have or was that um, John Patrick Shanley <laughs> well that's what you interpret she's <laughs> doing well, and a she... lot of the <laughs> men that watch it don't see it at all they don't you know yeah. everybody we that's what i love about movies people you can give people clues and many of them will just go by but somebody will pick it up and they'll go oh <gasps> that's very gratifying that's that's why we do what we do is just to enrich the dilemma that John Patrick Shanley's put forward in this uh, and and that that was my job yeah. that's how i saw it was to take what he's he'd done and make it and humanize it make it personal but some roles rather than others uh, come with them i suppose what you might say is responsibility and of course this story is a story that resonates and is still resonating. You see it in the papers practically every week. Mm. Do you feel a responsibility in the role because this is a very real story for many people? Absolutely, I've, I've felt that. And I felt that we were treading in a sacred territory. We were, we were walking where people have put their faith, their trust, um, their lives, their childhoods, in some cases, destroyed childhoods. So yes, there's a there's a big responsibility. But I don't th I don't think that uh, any act of imagination, which this is, this isn't based on any actual thing. But we try to get it as true as we possibly can, and and so and I think we d we all did that. I'm um, just in terms of the great Viola Davis, the yeah. actress who plays Mrs. Miller. And that is one of the most amazing scenes. Yes. That, that scene shifts so many times. And I suppose, uh, as a mother, I mean, you, that sh scene, you, you're just terrified throughout that scene about what's going to actually be the outcome of that scene. Absolutely. And she does something amazing in that part, which is to subsume what it is to be an African a woman an African American woman now in <clears throat> 2009, and she takes, she hurdles you back in time to 1964, where it's all sort of bottled up and unexpressed and impotent and powerless, and she just um, she delivers the film mm -hmm. and. Uh, yeah, How interesting. I mean, there is a woman that d does deliver the film in the end. You have now had these kind of slightly, these extraordinary uh, different roles in, in the one. You've got Mamma Mia here and you've got Sister Aloysius. Yeah. The Mamma Mia phenomenon, mm. it was amazing. But that, that again was, 
in a way, your last three of your four films have been delivered by female directors. Mm -hmm. Do you think that's had a lot to do with it? Just people picking up on Mamma Mia and thinking it would be a great film to do? A yes. A female thing. Yeah, I think it very much has to do with that. And, and even while we were making Mamma Mia, back in California, there was a lot of consternation about whether or not this would... You know, I think our we would have fit into the props budget of The Dark Knight. <laughs> and we were making a musical, the very expensive, in Greece and Pinewood. But, you know, we... <clears throat> the studio supported us, there's just no doubt about it. And but they were very uncertain. And has been yes. rewarded amazingly. Yes, it has. And, it, and it's just because... Judy Kramer, Phyllida Lloyd, Katherine Johnson, the, the, f the mothers of Mamma Mia, the original Dynamos, they knew they had something in a worldwide phenomenon already going into making a film. Um, and they knew that their audience had been neglected and that they'd burst the gates to see this one. And they did. I interviewed Catherine Deneuve last week and she said that she felt that had she been an actress in America and not France, she wouldn't have had such a long career. But in a sense, you defy that, don't you? Because the parts are still flying in at you. Yeah, I think the world is changing. And what you said about the last three films are directed by women, that's changing. The fact that our chief executive at Universal was Donna Langley, another Brit, uh, that's unusual. That wasn't true... When I began, when I made Sophie's Choice, there were no women anywhere in the decision-making process of uh, green-lighting films. So that's what's shifting it, is where, where, the, where the money is, you know. And increasingly women are in those positions. Obama. I mean, is there a, uh, tell me how that affects, do you think, just the general atmosphere in America at the moment? We're all on our knees with gratitude and joy and this is the person who's come at the time when we need a big change the most couldn't even have known at the time of the um, election how how dire the global financial situation was going to be we need someone who's just breaks all the barriers and and, and uh, gathers us as one army towards the good, and I think he'll do it. Well, Steve, thank you very much. Thank you.